It's amazing. What do you mean something back for what? Well, if they could have traded Miles Sanders. Oh, they wouldn't do that. Why? Look, They're not going to resign. Well, that's 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 one of um that's one of his babies, man. He he picked he picked that guy. Who's he? Um, um the GM. Yeah, but he Howie. picked Dillard too, and he'd flip him in a second. Now, did you see anything else here? It was over that Damian Lillard. How about how about your boy Joe Judge just blaming everything but himself? Have you ever heard this? No. What did he do? Scenarios that that one was more just kind of how things were playing out right there based on the situation losing yards. But there were two times today where the headsets were, you know, an issue that we got to make sure that you know. We'll start doing hand signals, whatever we got to do if we have to. We can't rely on the equipment, then we'll figure something else out. But, you know, we tried to actually at one point go back to the old equipment. They told us we weren't allowed to do it for whatever reason. But we didn't have issues really last year for the most part, so hopefully we can figure that out. Wait a second. Are we sure that Joe Judge didn't just upgrade the equipment like Harry did with his computer? It got like halfway through a three-hour update and said, ah, screw it. <laughs> yeah, maybe he had to restart the headsets. Now, Aton, you're – you're uh, muted or something. Why am I not hearing him? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, now I could hear him. You're not hearing me? Well, now... What do you mean you're not hearing now, me? Now I can. You were talking. I'm watching you. I was watching you talk, and no, there was nothing coming out. Right. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. I hate to do it to you, sir. It was like Joe Judge. That's what, <laughs> that's what happened yeah. to Joe Judge in the game. He turned into that Charlie Brown teacher. Yeah. Talking, that does, that does, does suck, though. I mean, aren't they supposed to disallow the other team to use their headsets if the one teams go out yes. to make it fair i thought they had to do that well yeah both teams have to have the same um ability to use the equipment that they have if, if, right. if one side isn't having it then they have to turn theirs off right so did kansas city did they do it or did, or not i mean is there... evidently not <laughs> i saw there was a controversy this morning from from this situation last night oh you know, really yeah Oh, there was, was there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, now I'm looking at this Colts I'm trying schedule. Trying to find audio. Yeah. They're, they're three and five right now, but they got the Jets Thursday night and then the Jaguars. So let's just put them at five and five. By the way, okay. I think that if you can get the Colts at 10, obviously 10 or under, but 10, if you can still get the Colts at 10 right now, following a ridiculous victory for the Jets, yeah. major letdown on a short week, I would definitely take the Colts. Yeah, major letdown and and going on the road too. Right, the right. Jets. How about the play that Shaq Lawson made to to win that game? Yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty incredible because I was watching that on the red zone as that was happening, and they the the guy the broadcaster I forget who it was doing that game, but the color analyst said if that ball gets over Shaq Lawson's reach, it would have gone for thirty yards because it was like a exactly. dump, it was like a screen, and uh -huh. they had it blocked, and they would have ran, you know ran it thirty yards down the field and maybe scored. But so he made an incredible vocal. play, no question, man. Yeah, that's why you gotta love, man. You gotta love, uh, you gotta love uh, the NFL, man. You gotta love it, man. You got to. Yeah, I'm I mean, those I would say when you say a game of inches, yeah, just one more inch, mm -hmm. and the play, you know, he jumped up one more inch, and it would have went for six. But just give me that inch. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they say in that movie, that god awful movie, uh, A Time with Pacino? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going a different genre. No. Said, give me that inch. No, no, no. no. What, what are you, said. the stream? <laughs> what, are you, what, what are you, 91 LSXers? <laughs> I've been hanging out too much at this show. <laughs> well, what's what's the Pacino quote when he's the coach in the in the locker room and he's doesn't he say something about I right, give me that inch? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Black Sun? What, what, Any what given move? Sunday. Any, Any given, given Sunday. Sunday. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Any yeah. given yeah. Sunday, yeah. yeah. A la Any Given Sunday. <laughs> so so the Colts win those two games. They're 5-5, five and five, but then they have Buffalo on the road. But they get back to 5-5. Five and five, They're still in it. Right, right, right. Well, depend. I, I don't know, right? Yeah, I guess so. Derrick yeah. Henry could be back in six weeks, by the way. Derrick Henry could be back week 14. Maybe four more weeks to go. Yeah, I'm just saying, could be, could yeah. be, right? But by week 14, who knows what the each each team's record's going to be? 
Exactly. Correct. But if the things get more difficult for the Colts at that point, and then you're getting Derrick Henry back again, we don't know what the status of Julio and or AJ Brown's going to be. Those two guys are healthy out there. And that's a tough team to slow down. Uh, AJ Brown's a tremendous. Adrian Peterson is 500 yards. Uh, he may be four or 500 yards away from passing Barry Sanders fourth all time on the rushing list. Are you telling me that this guy's coming back? To be part of a rotation? Well, I find it uh, unbelievable that he's behind Barry Sanders with all the years that he's played versus Barry ducking out, you know, in the middle of his career, really. It's amazing. Stopped. How many years yeah. did Barry play, though, overall? 15? No. No. Um, ten? 10, I think. I think it was like nine or 10 years. Yeah. Nine. Well, uh, look. Yeah. Okay. So 89 through 98. Yeah. And you look at Barry Sanders led the league four times, four times in rushing. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Adrian Peterson had that short stretch. Barry Sanders, even when he wasn't leading the league, was still at a ridiculous clip. I mean, he was basically fifteen hundred yards a year. Easy. easy. You just pencil him in. It's easy. You know, and, and remember that year he went out, he, he, he um his ACL. He went out ACL six months later, six or nine months later, came back and had over 2,000 yards. He's a machine, bro. Yeah. A machine. Well, yeah, it was the one. Was that 93 where he only played 11 games? Yep, something like yeah, that. Yeah, he came back with 1883. He, then he, he came back. 2,000 yeah. following 96. 96 he played. Here's how crazy the league is. 96, 16 games, 307 carries for 1553. That 1553 led the league. So did the mm-hmm. 97.1 yards per game. Wow. It's incredible. <laughs> but looking at the Titans record, man, they, this Sunday they have the Rams. They got the Saints. Yep. Not easy. Um, the Patriots. That's why they need all day. Yep. Three defense. Steelers. Right yep. Four 49ers. Four and a half. Yeah. Dolphins. Okay. So I mean they they still got I mean, they got still got a couple stumbling blocks, them, right? Yeah. They got a couple stumbling blocks in there. Man, it's a shame that Miles Sanders isn't healthy. They could have got something back. I know. So they need something back for what? Well, if they could have traded Miles Sanders. Oh, they wouldn't do that. Why? Well, They're not gonna Eric resign. Henry, yeah? Well, that's 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 one of um that's one of his babies, man. He he picked he picked that guy. Who's he? Um, um, the GM. Yeah, but he Howie. picked Dillard too, and he'd flip him in a second. Well, we for all less know what value. Happened. He'll flip him for real, <laughs> <laughs> real fast. Yeah, right. I don't I'm, think I'm, he gets moved now because he's hurt. No, but that's the thing. Like we talk about Dillard being moved. Wouldn't it be a perfect opportunity just to see what you could get from Tennessee? Like, don't you at least have to pick the phone up? You have a guy, Miles Sanders, who has a ton of talent, who's been relegated to barely being used when he was healthy, assuming he doesn't go down. Right. He's eligible to come back week 11 against the Saints. Yeah, I mean, I saw people trying to move Jordan Howard after one game being bumped up to the practice squad. Don't you think you could get two and a half times more from a Miles Sanders deal? You definitely could. You would think so. Yeah, you definitely could. So the Colts, good. the Colts record is the same as ours, right? They're three and five. Three and five, yeah. <laughs> We're so down on our squad. <laughs> <laughs> we just think they're out of. There's no chance whatsoever. It's just well, you know, there is a chance. I mean, because there's a seventh playoff team. Right, That's the right. thing. I mean, yeah. if you start looking at some of these teams that are that are essentially battling for that spot, I know the NFC is pretty top heavy compared to the AFC, but once you get past the the six best teams the fight for number seven yes is pretty you start equal. looking at some of these other teams you're like man we might be as good as them yeah you know <laughs> anytime think about it anytime so there is a chance you know that, that's the thing i mean like uh, you never know let me just go through it I'll, I'll just go through this with you i know minnesota's one of the teams they're the eighth spot right now. Carolina, you've already beaten them. They're yep. number seven. So if you end up with a tie with them, you're in. The San Francisco 49ers beat you, but they're three and four. You beat Atlanta, they're three and four. And then the Eagles are three and five. Yeah, you're still. 
I'm not. I'm not. I, I won't do it to myself because you guys want me to do it to myself. Well, I'm, I'm not doing it. I, we're gonna take you there. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You're you're tied right now with the Chicago Bears, who are blowing oh, leads to decent to bad teams, and the yep. Seahawks, who are beating the worst team in the NFL with a backup quarterback. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Yep. You know, come on, Minnesota. Well, Russell, Russell Russell Wilson got the pin taken out of his hand uh, yesterday, yeah. so right. he, you know, he's going to be coming back soon. There you go. They're a problem now. They're going to move up the ranks. I hate to do it to the Colts, but they don't have a snowball's chance right now. You don't think? So? Well, no, man. I'm looking at their them. record. No, man. Look, Look at, at their that, record. It's tighter. It's much tighter on their end. Oh, man. It's going to be way harder for them to go out there and try to Cleveland, do Kansas City. I mean, these teams are better than the teams above the Eagles. Yeah. Buccaneers, the Bills, Patriots, and the Broncos. Cardinals, Raiders. <laughs> the Colts, hey, they got. They don't have a snowball's chance, man. I hate, I hate to do, do it. it to <laughs> just call it. Just, just call it. The Patriots and the Chiefs and the Browns are all four and four, and Denver. Now the right. Chiefs not making the playoffs, so I'm rooting against them. Yeah, you got the Chiefs not making the playoffs. Yeah, put it down wow. like three weeks ago. Got really good odds on it, plus three hundred for the Chiefs to not make the playoffs. Then they lose a game. I think they lose two. Or one of two, mm. and it flipped to like minus, or flipped to like plus one fifty or something. Yeah, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, man. Like I took advantage of it at the time of it. I don't think it's a lock. Here's the thing: I don't think it's a lock. Right. I Chiefs, don't think it's a lock. Chiefs miss the playoffs, and Andy Reid has to sacrifice his buddy Spags. Yes. As a result, and Spags, who has a home, he lives here in, in yeah. suburban yes, he Philadelphia, does. not far from me. Uh, then gets the job to coach Temple so he can stay home. What do you think about that? Would he do that? Would he lower um, himself? He's got the energy for it. He would be a great coach. There. I think he'd be a great college coach. Oh, no I question. really do. He has that, he has that, that, you know, that, that air about himself, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Confident in himself. He'll, he'd get those kids to run through a brick wall. That's what him. I'm saying. How often do we see That's that? A great not, call. Yeah, yeah it, it is a great call. You're reading what I'm writing. How often does that happen? I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad. I like the idea a lot, yeah. and it brings Spags back. So right. I, you know, I'm in favor of that. By He's a means. great guy. He is amazing. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. How often does that happen? Where guys just leave the NFL and pick up into recently? I'm not just ever. I'm not saying like, oh, give me your all time. I'm just saying like recently. Are we having situations like that where former coach coordinators like, all right, that's it. I'm going to go to college. Uh, well, what would you say? Wouldn't you say, uh, wouldn't you say Michigan State? I'm sure it's Mel Tucker. Mel Tucker, yeah. Well, he was the head coach at Colorado too for a year before he went to, yeah, yeah. Uh, Michigan State. So he, but, um, he right, right, right. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it, I get your point. It doesn't happen very often, and it probably was like a position coach or a coordinator, but right. I, I really can't think of too many Which right off my head. Look, Spags may look at this and say, I'm not going to get a head coaching job in the NFL. Right. Yeah. That, he you know, might not want to be back in the NFL. You know, yeah. right. He might be tired right. of that stuff, man. He's like, man, yeah. here he can sleep in his own I'm bed every it. night. And, right. you know, I'm out on no, this, I think man. you're right. I'm tired of him treating me like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me go somewhere where I'm appreciated. He knows he, he'd be definitely appreciated here. And can you imagine the recruiting edge that he would have? Oh, are you in kidding this me? Area? He'd be on with Gargano two days a week. <laughs> Studio. Gags and spags. Yes. Bring back the old imaging. Yeah, my goodness, man. I'm surprised Anthony. You should uh, text Anthony that and put I the bug in his ear. He starts doing it like every Friday. He'll start texting him right yeah. away, like during the show. Yep, every Friday. He be better a, a, let him a segment. cigar and sit back his feet, kick his feet yep. back. Yeah, we're going to have spags here. That was one of the right. funniest <laughs> things that, that Johnny Marks came up with when he was on that morning show was that, that gags and spags. That was hilarious. <laughs> It really was hilarious. Oh, they, they even had a promo done. They were, oh, yeah. No, they had like they four. Had the voiceover said, guy doing yeah. gags and spags. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. And it was like the real ESPN. Was it Cutler? Right. Whatever it was the Cutler. Was. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Not Jake Cutler, Harry. I heard he's doing okay. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right. That was that, that whole thing there, man. <laughs> By the way, Walker has shot up the Heisman board. Have you seen this? Yeah, he was plus 150 at Parks on, on Sunday when I was doing my show. He was the, the leader. He was the favorite. Did you he see was. what he did? Of course. Off he of is. his 197 right. yard five <laughs> touchdown effort against Michigan. He that gets people's at least attention. 75 on the open market. Really? Yeah. That's better value. 
Well, yeah, it's also, you know, the open market. So right. it's not a secure situation like it would be at a book. Yeah. You like that, though? You like that? To well, quote your cousins, what Kenneth Walker with that humongous game. My God, he yeah. bounced a couple of runs out of there. I think, I don't know. They got a tough schedule. They got Purdue this week. They got to go to Ohio State, and then they have Penn State at home. And I think they have Maryland in there, too. I think they're going to lose a game. And that takes Deshaun. Wouldn't they have to run the table and at least get to the Big Ten championship for him yes. to have a chance? Over yes. Bryce Young? Over either Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud. Um, Is Caleb never- Williams done? Caleb Williams? Yeah, for Oklahoma. No, yeah. he had he had like six touchdowns this past week. So, yeah, I mean. And they're undefeated. They are undefeated. I know they're not a cover machine and everybody hates them right. for that, but. They're look, Oklahoma's doing pretty well here. Yeah, they are. Now, They're do we have any update well. from John Clark? No. Uh, no, he hasn't tweeted anything. Nothing there. No. Do you think we'd be able to get should Harry reach out and take pressure off of Barrett? Harry knows him well. He I gotta wins. take the pressure off of Barrett. Oh, yeah. Barrett's waiting <laughs> for news. It's almost like you know, it's it's too much now to put on Barrett's plate. He's already going back and forth with John about news and information. Right. Um, his last tweet was a retweet of one of his own tweets about Damian Lillard. So there's nothing on the Eagles front. No, I don't think there's anything. I'm just monitoring. I'm wondering if you're monitoring the situation or monitoring, I guess, people who are monitoring the situation. I am. Okay, good. Yeah, That's absolutely. What I no. Yeah. He's a detective, man. That's what yeah. Harry does best. That's what I'm doing. He's he's fine. <laughs> he finds the little things. All right. Yeah. He's all sleuthed out. <laughs> That's what he does. He's got the sleuth out. Watch <laughs> out. Harry's hey, the sleuth out. What is this cr- <laughs> crimpet thing that you tweeted? What do you mean? About our show. When I tweeted the clip from our show, and he said something about calling you a crazy crimpet. Oh, well, there was... Uh, <laughs> what I don't know. One of these one of these stupid shows here that this kid's watching is it, it said something. It was like, oh, it, it's a crazy crimp or something like that. Mm. So I thought crimp, like oh, from okay. crimpet. isn't crimpet? Isn't that tasty cake crimpet? Tasty cake crimpets, yeah. 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 Butterscotch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I love yeah. the string. <laughs> Carlos Dew says how it needs to be included on any trade package. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's why we're not able to move anybody. It's because uh, nobody wants Howie. Nope. <laughs> He's had, had Andre Dillard and Howie Roseman traded yeah. to the Colts. <laughs> Who's been negotiating that by any means? Oh, he's not gonna he's not gonna negotiate, man. No, that's, Howie, that's Howie has to remove himself from negotiations. <laughs> How can we get Evan Washburn on the show this week? What channel is it on? It's going to be on CBS. I'm sure I have him on the black book here. Yeah, because it's Ian Eagle, Charles Davis, and Evan Washburn. He'd be great. All washed out? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your man's all washed out. You know that? I, I think I think the uh, the capsule just kicked in and about, about five minutes ago, Barrett. <laughs> I think the 100-milligram the capsule just kicked in. <laughs> I, I think I can sense. No, it. no, no, no. I'm trying to do three things at once and no. yeah, yeah, yeah. hold on to this child and, and still focus on what Barrett's saying. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I don't know. No, Zangaro hasn't tweeted anything. There's nothing happening. And then don't get our hopes up, man. That's yeah. the problem. We get all we get all washed out and want want something to happen and, and it won't happen. Let's see if JF has tweeted anything. John McMullen. Now, he's uh, uh, he's retweeting Diana Russini here. Is there a new show or book? Oh, the Steelers made a trade. Let's hear it. The Steelers traded Melvin Ingram to the Kansas City Chiefs per sources. Yeah, that's, that's really? That's works for the last two weeks. Yeah, according to Diana Russini and retweeted by McMullen. And the Browns have no plans on trading Odell Beckham Jr. Makes per sense. Per sources. So, how about that? The Steelers. That's well, a mean, pretty I, big deal for the Chiefs. Who that's clearly, a huge deal. Right? It's a 
big deal. But I, I mean, what are the Steelers doing? Are they just basically throwing in the towel? Mm-hmm. Um, they just won a game over Cleveland. No, look, they have a running back who takes up like 110% of the volume of touches. Oh, no, you're talking about who? No, no. Ingram. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about Pittsburgh. Oh, know, get, Pittsburgh. Up. I'm, I'm sorry. Jeez. Defensive end. Yeah, they, they oh, just. Yeah. Uh, I they don't just, know why I heard. Um, you think of Melvin Gordon. Yeah, somebody. I don't know why yeah. I heard Melvin Gordon. I apologize. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ingram, Ingram, they were trying to get Absolutely. that trade Absolutely. done for the past two weeks. Yeah. Now, you know what that does. I'm all. That, what? What, what 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 does it do? I'm we just, all see it. It puts their <laughs> it puts their defense back to where it was when they were winning on the defensive side of the ball. That's going to move Kansas Jones City, yeah. inside. It moves Jones back inside to the three technique where you can't block him. Right now you have Ingram on one one side and uh, what's the other uh, defensive end's name? Uh, Ford, not Ford. No, Lou. Is it Lou? Is it Lou Ford? No, 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 no. no. D Ford. No, they got rid yeah, of him. It, it is a D Ford, yeah. But I thought I they got rid of him. Yeah, he went to San Francisco. Yep, he's a yeah. San Francisco. So which D, which D D line him? Which no, D is it? A, a D, no, Frank Clark used to be with the uh, <laughs> Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> oh line. my god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> he is baked out. I'll tell you, <laughs> D line him. Oh. <laughs> I thought that's what you said. I thought it was D Ford in all honesty. D Ford. Oh my God. No, it's not D Ford. It's Frank Clark. Yeah, Frank Clark. But see, now that Frank might Clark. save Spagnola's job. And there well, goes my temple. Right. <laughs> We're trying to trade him off. We're trying to get him out. Yeah. No, I mean, that yeah, really yeah. does solidify I want things. Spags to come home. Yeah. Damn it. Save my alma mater. I don't know though. Is here's the thing, they they also have a problem with their offense. Barrett saw how bad their offense was. Well, you know, teams are understanding how now to um, take away to, Kelsey. To, to take away, to, well, not only take away Kelsey, but what they're doing is they're 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 not, they're not allowing the cheetah to just run rampant and deep. free yeah. through there. I mean, they're they're lining up like fifteen to to seventeen yards off the ball. The safeties are. Mm-hmm. So they're back so far, you know, they're just gonna catch whatever comes in front of them. Right. And it worked for a major part of the game. It worked. It worked right. for them. You know, the Giants had really shut things down. They were making uh they were making, you know, make them catch everything in front of them. And they were able to rally around them and, and, and come up and make the tackles. Make the tackles, and then you, you just you know, stay patient, force Kansas City to stay patient, and then once they lose their patience, Mahomes will turn the ball over. Yes, that's pretty much yes. how they beat him. Yes, exactly. That's how you beat him. That's why Kelsey was all pissed off. You know what I'm saying? He one play he was wide open sitting in the end zone, mm. and you know that he decided to go to the cheetah instead of going to him. He was sitting there wide open. Wow! And he threw it to cheetah in the back of the end zone. He was about to scramble, and I was like, "Wow! You know, is it is it a changing of the guard? What's going on? I mean, did, did Kelsey say something to piss him off? Mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking." I don't understand how bad that they are. Like they're just it's like if they're not running a trick play, they don't know what to do. Right, 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 right. They're not consistent in a running game like they used to be. Well, they, they started running a lot better yesterday. But usually, you know what I'm saying, they have a you know consistent running game, which helps them out a lot. Well, they lost time, uh, Clyde Edwards Alaire. Yeah, Edward Alaire, right. yeah. So, you know, Teams are starting to defend the right. I mean, defensive coordinators get paid millions of dollars to stop everything. Yeah. You know, how long do you think that they were going to be able to run that circus? And who's who's this Derek Gore guy? He went to he went to uh, touchdown last Louisiana night. Monroe. Right, 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 right. That's where uh, Doug P went, I believe. I think. Yep. Yeah, he was toting it though. That's where Duck Dynasty. Went. Yeah. You know, he's not related to Frank Gore, is he? I don't know, but yeah. they were trying. They were trying to. They were calling him. Is that's not Frank Gore, is it? No, were they really saying that on the broadcast? Did they say that? Yeah. <laughs> Not Frank Gore. Yep. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. I know you could appreciate that. How about Both 18 targets for Tyreek Hill, though, man? That's incredible. But they were all like five yards or, right. or less. Right. You know what I mean? Or And I like what they were doing, man, because, all right, if you go play deep like that, they were running nothing but like little dump downs to the running backs and, you know, and right. also to Hill. Mm-hmm. On, the, on the sideline and give it to him and they'd be back off like 10 yards and by the time you got the ball to hill he ran 11 yards he's that fast that you know he, he eats that cushion up so fast that 
You know, it's, it's like he's it's like a running play with him almost. Just get the ball to him out on a little fade pass, and he make it happen. I saw people complaining about Matt Lombardo's Twitter behavior oh, yeah. last night during the game. People were crushing. Yeah. How about that? Your thoughts yeah. on this? It was an all-out crush attack. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> I don't know. It was just, people were annoyed that their timelines were being filled up with his garbage of people reacting to his bad takes. <laughs> yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Did you I don't know. It? I mean, which take are we talking about here? I, it must. I'm sure it was Giants related. The guy covers the Giants, right? Right. Care right, about right, anything? Right, you know, right. like let, let him be with something else. He wants to post a picture or something else. That's fine. I'm talking about the Giants stuff. Like, what the hell was that? Did man, you not see? He tweets a lot, man. Okay. Well, there was something about how I guess it was David Jones could be elite. Like, if David Jones wants Daniel to Jones. Be, yeah. De pardon me. Yeah. Not Davy Jones. Not David Jones. He's with the monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a daydream believer. So, Daniel Jones could be, if he really wants to be elite then it's like this drive needs to show it, right? Oh, and big boy throw by Daniel Jones to Evan Ingram for a touchdown. That's another tweet. Yeah, but I think there was something about how elite, if he wants to be elite, like show up and make a play like this drive or this game or something like that. People were not having elite and Daniel Jones in the same sense. Oh, okay. I can you can't see have that. that and Daniel Jones in the same sense. I, I could see why that would piss people off. Well, I mean, I, 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 I'm tell you the truth. I think Hertz is better than he is right now. Say what He's you want to say. Yeah, I mean, look, he doesn't fumble the ball nearly as much as Daniel Jones. He There's runs no, better than Daniel Jones, but yeah, he does. It's not by a ton, but you're right, he does. Here it is. Here it Jones is. Jones runs for his life. <laughs> Fifteen hours ago, if Daniel Daniel Jones is going to stake his claim as one of the NFL's elite quarterbacks. <laughs> and the Giants' future at the position, <laughs> he has to, has to cut down on turnovers. Okay, well, look, let's respond when we get back. <laughs> 